The first issue the Electoral Commission responded to was the issue about the EC printing about one million ballot papers in favor of the governing NPP. We are of the view that our silence on this false allegation could have dire consequences at, as it could undermine citizens' confidence in our dear country. The former president has said the EC Tom printed one million ballot papers in favor of the uh, president of the republic. This is untrue. This is a grave matter that undermines the credibility of our electoral process and should not be ignored. We call on him to provide evidence to support this claim. This is not a matter uh, that should be ignored and we call on the Ghana Police Service to investigate. The transparency of our process makes it totally impossible for this to happen. At the polling stations, prior to the start of the elections, the empty ballot boxes are opened and displayed in the presence of everyone, including the political party agents, and thereafter they are sealed in the presence of everyone. There are serial numbers on the ballot papers for each region and constituency. This is made known to the agents before the elections, and the political parties also know this. Our ballot papers also have security features, so any trace of new material will be clearly visible. Again, at the end of the poll, the ballots cast are cross-checked against the voters who were verified and issued the ballot papers. This ensures that overvoting is detected immediately because if at the center 20 people were issued the ballots, we expect that the ballot box will contain uh, 20. Nationwide, we had no issue with overvoting at all the 38,622 polling stations except in Savelugu in the parliamentary election where there was one, and I repeat, one overvoting. The transparency of our processes from the beginning to the end makes this impossible. Ballot staffing cannot be done. It is just impossible. We also raised concerns about the allegation that the declaration of the results was influenced by the military. Again, the answer from the EC is false. I'm doing the post, a number of violence were recorded. It can particular mention as the Tetraman South uh, electoral violence and also even in order to deal. Well, particular mention was given to Tetraman South uh, uh, um, electoral violence. The Electoral Commission says it cannot be blamed for the violence that characterize uh, the elections at the coalition center within the area. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, once more, the former president has accused the EC of being responsible for the violence that took place at Tetraman. We state for the records that the violence was not caused as a result of the EC or its staff. More importantly, the EC is not responsible for security as the former president sought to portray. Nowhere in our laws or in the constitution, security one of the functions of the EC. To lay security lapses at the doorstep of the EC is unfortunate. While we sympathize with the family members of the deceased, we reject any attempt to associate violence with us. Again, we call on the former president in the interest of our democracy to provide evidence that the EC orchestrated uh, the violence. Finally, the Electoral Commission says it does not account to presidential candidates and what they do is to account to Ghanaians through their representatives in parliament. And so it is never true that the chairperson of the Electoral Commission, that is Madame Jean Mengsam, is running away from accountability. We have on several occasions heard the former president state that the chairperson has been running away from accountability. This is false. The EC is an institution. Aside for the former president to equate the entire institution to the chairperson, it's an attempt to malign her and cause disaffection for her. As an institution, we account to the good people of Ghana through the Special Budget Committee of Parliament, and we have done so, and we report regularly. We do not account to individuals. We do not account to presidential candidates. The Constitution does not permit that. Furthermore, Supreme Court, the Supreme Court is not the platform for the EC. It's not the platform for the EC to account to the people of Ghana. As far as elections are concerned, the Supreme Court is a court for settling presidential election disputes. 